Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the TAS-1 G3 Pro multi-tool utility case for your iPhone 5S and your iPhone 5. Alright, now this is hot right here. First up, let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get it from. Alright, hit up Amazon.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. Alright, so we got the TAS-1 G3 Pro multi-tool utility case for your iPhone 5 and your iPhone 5S. The price for this, $105. Now, I know what you're saying. That's a little bit on the pricey side, but trust me, this is probably the most functional iPhone case right now on the planet. Now, you can pause this and read it for yourself, but the iPhone 5 5S case made of aircraft-grade aluminum and polycarbonate to protect your phone. Alright, so the case is made out of aluminum, so you're getting maximum protection right there. 22 tools manufactured from 440C hardened stainless steel. Now, 22 tools built into this case. Easy access to all buttons and tools with the convenient low profile slider. The case is held on by four corner fasteners. Less than 100 grams, adds only five millimeters thickness. All right, so this is a good look right here. Check out the link for yourself. Now let's pop it open and see what you get. Nice presentation, 100 bucks, you expect that. This is for the iPhone 5S, 22 tools. All right, aircraft grade aluminum, protect your phone. This uh, tool right here fits inside the case. Perfect for all your cats going skiing. Got a bottle top opener. If you got to fix your bike real quick, camping, all that good stuff. Wire cutters, everything. Look at the pictures on the side. You see somebody opening a bottle top, shaving some uh, wood, make some firewood or <laughs> make a little fishing spear. Stripping wires or tighten wires up. Little little repairs here and there. On the back of the box, you live and breathe the outdoors. You can fix anything on the spot. All right, you're a tinkerer, a handyman, an adventurer, a do-it-yourselfer. With the task one protecting your iPhone, you're putting 22 tools in your pocket. All right, 22 tools. Now, here goes a little list right here of all the tools. All right, you got a removable knife. With serrations, that's a 2.5 inch knife, so it's totally legal. Everybody out here in New York, I know 4 inches is, is, is the max. So 2.5 inches, totally legal. You got a 1.8 inch saw blade. Small and large uh, flathead screwdrivers. You got a medium Phillip head screwdriver. You got pliers with a box wrench. Wire cutters. Six Allen wrenches. Spoke wrenches. Wire stripper. You got a 4.5 inch ruler. A bottle opener. Dual kickstands, so you can use the phone in portrait or landscape. Uh, portrait or landscape. And you got a universal reciprocated saw blade mount. All right. Only 115 grams, four ounces, rubber, polycarbonate, and aluminum protection. All right, so this looks good right here. Let's see what you get inside the box now. Now, as soon as you pop it open, you get that rugged look. You can actually feel this, that, uh, that military kind of look. Let's, uh, let's see what you get. Let's pop this open. I'm not going to go into beast mode because I don't want these parts flying all over the place. Okay, you get your dummy iPhone right here. <laughs> the usual books and shit, but now with a case like this, this is one that you're going to want to take a look at the book. Alright, because there's a lot of stuff going on here. Now when you look at this book, where well, it's really just a pamphlet, but this gives you a diagram where all of the tools are at. Now I'm not going to go through each tool individually, you get the idea. We'll just check out the main ones. But this looks tough right here. All y'all handyman, y'all gonna like one like this. Alright? Now you're gonna get your screw and your Allen wrench. This is how you're gonna put the case on. Teeny little screws right there. Let's check out the actual case. Okay, you get some company information. You can pause that for yourself. Task Lab. This is like some real rugged, rugged kind of feel to it though. Now you get a free screen protector. All right. Let's uh let's get some of these tools out. Let's see if we can get this last one out. Might have to go into beast mode. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we got one of the tools out. Let's get this out the way. Now for the actual case. This looks so hot right here. The weight on this is very heavy. Let's let's check out the knife. Now the knife is mad sharp. Fresh out the gate, the knife is definitely sharp. Now, you can pull out a sharpening stone and make it even sharper, but right out the box, it's mad sharp. So, what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to just pause the video, I'm going to drop my iPhone on real quick, and then we'll see what it looks like with the case on. 
Okay, so now we got the case installed on the phone and it was a real simple installation. All you have to do is use this Allen wrench that came with it, loosen up the two screws at the bottom, this part slides off, you put your iPhone in and tighten the screws back up. But just like any other case that uses screws, the main thing you don't want to do is over tighten the screws. And it even tells you that right here in this little uh, insert, do not over tighten. Alright, if you over tighten the screws and they get stripped, it's going to be a pain to get this case off whenever you're ready to change your case. Now, once it's installed, also on a side note, it did come with some extra screws. Now, you know these screws are mass small. If you drop one of these, you may never find it again. So at least you have some extras. Make sure you save these to the side. Now, on the back of the case, it does have this little plastic. This, this peels off, but this has a basic diagram of where all the tools are at. Okay, so you got your bottle opener. Matter of fact, let's just peel this off, and we'll just go through them live. Now, there's two locks on this case. You got your primary lock and your secondary lock. When you're carrying the case in your, you know, in your pocket, in your bag or whatever, the last thing you want to have, you know, is this lock open and the knife popping out and stabbing yourself. Don't do that. Make sure you always got the primary lock completely locked. As you can see, nothing's going to come out. Now, you click the lock to the middle. Now it's open. When you want to hit your knife, all you have to do is hit the secondary lock and slide your knife up. And then lock it into place. Now, once this is locked in, this knife ain't going nowhere. Right, it's not going to retract. Like I said, the knife is extra sharp. Be careful with this. All right, now this is a nice touch right here. Has a little saw blade on one side so you could, you know, saw some stuff. And um, <laughs> a knife. You know, do what you got to do. It's a knife. Use it for whatever you got to use it for. Now, like I said, a disclaimer. Do not take this to the club. Don't take this to school. You know, don't take this to the police department when you go to, you know, visit your homeboy or something. Don't do that. All right, this is a case that you want to use for utilitary stuff or, you know, whatever you got to do. Like I said, once you buy it, it's yours. Now, when you want to retract the knife, all you got to do, click it back to the middle. You see, now it's loose. And you slide it back into place, lock it in. Now, when you want to get to the screwdrivers, slide these out. You got two screwdrivers right here. You got a flathead and a Phillips head. And it has a nice diagram right here, so it shows you how to put them back in whenever you finish. Just go put them back in, match the diagram. Slide these right back in. Same thing with this. Now this also doubles as a kickstand. So if you want to use a kickstand, it has a little insert right there. You just put this in, and now you got a kickstand. Same thing, you can put it in, in landscape mode. Just slapping it right here. Not the, you know, not the best kickstand in the world, but it works. This will work good enough if you're watching YouTube videos at work or wherever you at. You just need a little kickstand. Just slide it in there and, and rock it as a kickstand. Whatever. Let's drop this back in here. Now just follow the diagram. Put it back in there. Now let's check the bottle top opener. Ah, and this is, oh, I'm sorry, not the bottle top opener. This is the pliers and the wire strippers. All right, once you slide this open, you use this. Let's see if it has any actual grip to it. And yes, <laughs> that definitely, you see that? Let's try that again. Definitely good enough to strip some wires. Definitely good enough for some emergency use. It is what it is. Now, this this is real tight. Kind of hard to get back in. But they said they tell you that once you start using it after a while, it'll get a little bit looser. Now, you got the bottle top opener. Hit the secondary lock. Let's slide this down. Let's make sure this is open. Okay, now you got the bottle top opener. It locks into place. So pop open the beer. Pop open the soda, whatever you got. Bottle top opener on deck. Slide that back in. What else? Oh, we got the wire cup, the wire strippers tool right here. You slide this down. This pops out. This is an Allen wrench. If you look at the top, it has that shape. Allen wrench. Matter of fact, where's that little pamphlet at? If you look at the pamphlet, it'll show you how you can use that tool right there. You see? You can use it on screws like this. You know, figure it out. But this is cool though. Got the wire strippers right there. So all y'all cast that work in electrical field and all that. This is a nice little handy tool to have on deck. And it also has the end on the back. Show you how to put it back in. So all you got to do, locate that section and stick it back in. Let's drop this in here. Push it back in and it locks into place. All right, so a bunch of tools right here. The main thing with this I like, though, is that lock. That locking mechanism, once it's locked into place, 
You don't have to worry about the knife opening up in your pocket. And you don't even know that there's a knife in here. So this is a nice looking case right here. And it's made out of aluminum. So you're getting that drop protection. You see it has some rubber corners on it. That's rubber corners right there. Rubber around the side. So a nice rubber grip. But aircraft grade aluminum. Cutouts for your speakers. Cutouts for your 8-pin adapter. Cut out for your headphone jack. Cut out for your power button. The sides is wide open, so you volume up and down, vibrate switch, everything has access to it. But the main part of this case that I'm feeling, unlock it, hit the secondary lock, lock it back into place, and you got a fully functional knife right here. Alright, so this is the ultimate in iPhone case protection, protection for your phone, and protection for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a good look right here. $100 right here, this is a win. Now, y'all see me do the knuckle case. You see me do the anvil case. The, you know, they got the yellow jacket, the stun gun case. There's a bunch of, you know, protective iPhone cases. But to me, I think this is the best one right here. For $100, fellas, you definitely want to get one of these for your lady if she works late at, you know, works late at night and she got to walk from the, you know, the parking lot to the house or she got to walk from the car to, to the garage in the middle of the night. This is something good. Teach you how to use it real quick and you always got a knife on deck. Lock it back into place. On a scale of 1 to 10, this is a certified win right here. So check out the link for yourself. I'll throw it up in the description. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rock with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next trip. Also, shout out to all the Amazon warriors out there. Y'all already know. Get your drinks ready next Sunday. It's going back down. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces.